An auto rickshaw is a motorized development of the traditional pulled rickshaw or cycle rickshaw. Most have three wheels and do not tilt. An exception is in Cambodia, where two different types of vehicles are called tuk-tuks, one of which also known as a remorque has four wheels and is composed of a motorcycle which leans and trailer which does not. The auto rickshaw is a common form of urban transport, both as a vehicle for hire and for private use, in many countries around the world, especially those with tropical or subtropical climates, including many developing countries. Bajaj Auto of Pune, India is the world's largest auto rickshaw manufacturer. Overview Origin Japan has exported three-wheelers to Thailand since 1934. Moreover, the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications of Japan donated about 20,000 used three-wheelers to Southeast Asia. In Japan, three-wheelers went out of use in the latter half of the 1960s. In 1947, Corradino Descanio, aircraft designer at Piaggio and inventor of the Vespa, came up with the idea of building a light three-wheeled commercial vehicle to power Italy's post-war economic reconstruction. The Piaggio Ape followed suit. Auto rickshaws in Southeast Asia started from the knockdown production of the Daihatsu Midget, which was introduced in 1959. Design There are many different auto rickshaw types, designs, and variations. The most common type is characterized by a sheet metal body or open frame resting on three wheels, a canvas roof with drop-down side curtains, a small cabin at the front for the driver sometimes known as an auto walla, with handlebar controls, and a cargo, passenger, or dual-purpose space at the rear. Regional variations <inaudible> Africa and the Middle East <inaudible> Egypt Locally named the Toktok, the rickshaw is used to provide transportation in some parts of Egypt. Topic. Gaza Together with the recent boom of recreational facilities in Gaza for the local residents, donkey carts have all but been displaced by tuk-tuks in 2010. Due to the ban by Egypt and Israel on the import of most motorized vehicles, the tuk-tuks have had to be smuggled in parts through the tunnel network connecting Gaza with Egypt. Topic. Madagascar. In Madagascar, man-powered rickshaws are a common form of transportation in a number of cities, especially Ansarabe. They are known as posi, from pus pus, meaning push push. Cycle rickshaws took off since 2006 in a number of flat cities like Tomasina and replaced the major part of the posi, and are now threatened by the auto rickshaws, introduced in 2009. Provincial capitals like Tomasina, Mahajanga, Toliara, and Ansaranana are taking to them rapidly. They are known as Bajaji in the north and Tuk Tuk or Tik Tik in the east, and are now licensed to operate as taxis. They are not yet allowed an operating license in the congested and more polluted national capital, Antananarivo. <laughs> Nigeria the auto rickshaw is used to provide transportation in cities all over Nigeria. Popularity and use varies across the country however. In Lagos, for example, the Kiki Yoruba for bicycle is regulated and transportation around the state's highways is prohibited. <laughs> South Africa Tuk-tuks, introduced in Durban in the late 1980s enjoyed growing popularity in recent years, particularly in Gauteng, in Cape Town they are used to deliver groceries and, more recently, transport tourists. <inaudible> Sudan 
Rickshaws, known as ruksha in Sudan, is the most common mean of transportation followed by the bus in the capital Khartoum. Tanzania Rickshaws are locally known as Bajaji and are a common mode of transportation in Dar es Salaam. Asia Bangladesh Auto rickshaws locally called baby taxis and more recently CNGs due to their fuel source compressed natural gas are one of the more popular modes of transport in Bangladesh mainly due to their size and speed they are best suited to narrow crowded streets and are thus the principal means of covering longer distances within urban areas two stroke engines had been identified as one of the leading sources of air pollution in Dhaka Thus, since January 2003, traditional auto rickshaws were banned from the capital. Only the new natural gas powered models CNG were permitted to operate within the city limits. All CNGs are painted green to signify that the vehicles are eco friendly and that each one has a meter built in. Farhad Ilyas and brother in law Adil Ali imported the first auto rickshaws in the late 1940s following the first successful turboprop engine factory launch. Cambodia In Cambodia, the term tuk-tuk refers to a passenger carrying remorque pulled by a motorcycle. It is a widely used form of transportation in the capital of Phnom Penh and for visitors touring the Angkor temples in Siem Reap. In Phnom Penh and other Cambodian cities tuk-tuk fares are negotiated with the driver, while at Angkor Wat they are typically rented on daily basis. Cambodian cities have a much lower volume of automobile traffic than Thai cities, and tuk-tuks are still the most common form of urban transport. There are more than 6,000 tuk-tuks in Phnom Penh, according to the Independent Democracy of Informal Economy Association IDEA, a union that represents tuk-tuk drivers among other members. <laughs> China Various types of auto rickshaw are used around China, where they are called San Lun Che, San Lun che and sometimes San Bang Zi, San Bang Zi meaning three-wheeler or tricycle. They may be used to transport cargo or passengers in the more rural areas. However, in many urban areas the auto rickshaws for passengers are often operated illegally as they are considered unsafe and an eyesore. They are permitted in some towns and cities, however. The Southeast Asian word tuk-tuk is transliterated as du du che, du du che or beep beep car. Topic: India. Topic: Overview. Most cities offer auto rickshaw service, although cycle rickshaws are also common and even hand-pulled rickshaws exist in certain areas such as Kolkata. Auto rickshaws are used in cities and towns for short distances, they are less suited to long distances because they are slow and the carriages are open to air pollution. Auto rickshaws, often called autos, provide cheap and efficient transportation. Modern auto rickshaws run on compressed natural gas CNG due to government regulations and are environmentally friendly compared to full-sized cars. It is also not uncommon in many parts of Indian metropolitan areas to see primary school children crammed into an auto rickshaw, transporting them between home and school, equivalent to the school run performed by many parents in the West using their own cars. To augment speedy movement of traffic, auto rickshaws are not allowed in the southern part of Mumbai. India is the location of the annual rickshaw run. Topic design and manufacture There are two types of auto rickshaws in India. In older versions the engines were below the driver's seat, while in newer versions engines are in the rear. They normally run on petrol, CNG, or diesel. The seating capacity of a normal rickshaw is four, including the driver's seat. 
Six seater rickshaws exist in different parts of the country, but the model was officially banned in the city of Pune on the 10th of January 2003 by the Regional Transport Authority (RTA). CNG autos in many cities, e.g. Delhi, Agra, are distinguishable from the earlier petrol-powered autos by a green and yellow livery, as opposed to the earlier black and yellow appearance. In other cities, such as Mumbai, the only distinguishing feature is the CNG print found on the back or side of the auto. Some local governments are considering four stroke engines instead of two stroke versions. Auto rickshaw manufacturers in India include Bajaj Auto, Kumar Motors, Kerala Automobiles Limited, Force Motors, previously Bajaj Tempo, Mahindra and Mahindra, Piaggio Ape, and TVs Motors. Besides conventional autos, in Delhi there also used to be a variant powered by a Harley Davidson engine called the Fat Fatty, because of the characteristic, and quite loud, sound it made. The story goes that shortly after independence a stock of Harley-Davidson motorbikes were found that had been used by British troops during World War II and left behind in a military storage house in Delhi. Some enterprising drivers purchased these bikes, added on a gear box probably from a Woolies Jeep, welded on a passenger compartment that was good for four to six passengers, and put the highly unusual and unconventional vehicles onto the roads. A 1998 ruling of the Supreme Court against the use of polluting vehicles finally signed the death warrant of Delhi's Fat Fatis. As of 2018, India has about 1.5 million battery powered, three wheeled rickshaws on its roads. Some 11,000 new ones hit the streets each month, creating a $1.5 billion market. Manufacturers include Mahindra and Mahindra Limited and Kinetic Engineering. A hindrance to adoption to electric vehicles is the paucity of charging stations. India had only 425 at year end 2017. By 2022, the number is projected to rise to 2,800. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legislation. Generally, rickshaw fares are controlled by the government. However, auto and taxi driver unions frequently go on strike demanding fare hikes. They have also gone on strike multiple times in Delhi to protest against the government and High Court's 2012 order to install GPS systems. And even though GPS installation in public transport was made mandatory in 2015, as of 2017, compliance remains very low. Topic. Indonesia In Indonesia, auto rickshaws are popular in Jakarta as Bajay, Java, Maidan and Gorontalo as Benter, and some parts of Sulawesi and other places in the country. In Jakarta, the auto rickshaws are called Bajay or Bajaj and they are the same two as the ones in India but are colored blue for the ones which use compressed natural gas and orange for the ones which use normal gasoline fuel. The blue ones are imported from India with the brand of Bajaj and TVs and the orange ones are the old design from 1990 and are not powered by gas like the blue ones, yet the government is increasing units of the blue Bajays and is step by step decreasing the orange Bajays. The Bajaj is one of the most popular modes of transportation in the city. Outside of Jakarta, the Benter style auto rickshaw is ubiquitous, with the passenger cabin mounted as a sidecar like in Maidan or in front like the ones in some parts of Sulawesi to a motorcycle. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Nepal. Auto rickshaws were a popular mode of transport in Nepal during the 1980s and 1990s, until the government banned the movement of 600 such vehicles in the early 2000s. The earliest auto rickshaws running in Kathmandu were manufactured by Bajaj Auto. Nepal has been a popular destination for the rickshaw run. The 2009 fall run took place in Goa, India, and ended in Pokhara, Nepal. Topic. Pakistan Auto rickshaws are a popular mode of transport in Pakistani towns and are mainly used for traveling short distances within cities. One of the major manufacturers of auto rickshaws is Piaggio. The government is taking measures to convert all gasoline-powered auto rickshaws to cleaner CNG rickshaws by 2015 in all the major cities of Pakistan by issuing easy loans through commercial banks. 
Environment Canada is implementing pilot projects in Lahore, Karachi, and Quetta with engine technology developed in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada that uses CNG instead of gasoline in the two stroke engines, in an effort to combat environmental pollution and noise levels. In many cities in Pakistan, there are also motorcycle rickshaws, usually called Chand Gari moon car or Chingchi, after the Chinese company Jinan Chingchi Motorcycle Co. Limited who first introduced these to the market, rickshaws are forbidden in the capital, Islamabad. Auto rickshaws have had a history of displaying political statements. In February 2013, that legacy was modified to promote peace. According to Syed Ali Abbas Zaidi, head of the Pakistan Youth Alliance, we need to take back this romanticized art form and use it for peace sloganeering and conflict resolution. There are many rickshaw manufacturers in Pakistan. Lahore is the hub of CNG auto rickshaw manufacturing. Manufacturers include, New Asia Automobile Private, Limited, AECO Export Company, STAHLCO Motors, Global Sources, Parhiar Automobiles, Global Ledsys Technologies, Siwa Industries, Prime Punjab Automobiles, Murshid Farm Industries, Sazgar Automobiles, NTN Enterprises, and Imperial Engineering Company. Philippines Auto rickshaws are a popular form of public transportation in the Philippines, where they are referred to as tricycles. Filipino, tricycle, Cebuano, tricycle. In the Philippines, the design and configuration of tricycles varies widely from place to place, but tends towards rough standardization within each municipality. The usual design is a passenger or cargo sidecar fitted to a motorbike, usually on the right of the motorbike. It is rare to find one with a left sidecar. Tricycles can carry five passengers or more in the sidecar, one or two pillion passengers behind the driver, and even a few on the roof of the sidecar. Tricycles are one of the main contributors to air pollution in the Philippines, since majority of them employ two-stroke engines. However, some local governments are working towards phasing out two-stroke tricycles for ones with cleaner four-stroke engines. Tuk-tuks, which are still called tricycles locally despite having a completely different technical composition and electric variants thereof are now seen in Philippine streets, especially in the city of Manila, called e-trikes, for the latter. Combustion engine tuk-tuks are locally distributed by Bajaj Auto through dealerships. Sri Lanka Auto rickshaws, commonly known as three-wheelers, tuk-tuks Sinhalese, pronounced tuk-tuk or trishaws can be found on all roads in Sri Lanka from the curvy roads in the hill country to the congested roads of Colombo transporting locals, foreigners, or freight about. Sri Lankan three-wheelers are of the style of the light Phnom Pen type. Most of the three-wheelers in Sri Lanka are a slightly modified Indian Bajaj model, imported from India though there are few manufactured locally and increasingly imports from other countries in the region and other brands of three-wheelers such as Piaggio Ape. As of mid-2018, a new gasoline-powered tuk-tuk typically costs around $4,300, while a newly introduced Chinese electric model cost around $5,900. Since 2008, the Sri Lankan government has banned the import of all two-stroke gasoline engines, due to environmental concerns. Ones imported to the island now are four-stroke engines. Most three-wheelers are available as hired vehicles, with few being used to haul goods or as private company or advertising vehicles. Bajaj enjoys a virtual monopoly in the island, with its agent being David Piri's Motor Co., Limited. A few three-wheelers in Sri Lanka have distance meters. In the capital city it is becoming more and more common. The vast majority of fares are negotiated between the passenger and driver. There are 1.2 million trishas in Sri Lanka and most are on financial loans. <laughs> Thailand the auto rickshaw, called tuk-tuk Thai, tuk, pronounced tuk-tuk in Thailand, is a widely used form of urban transport in Bangkok and other Thai cities. The name is onomatopoeic, mimicking the sound of a small, often two-cycle, engine. An equivalent English term would be, putt-putt. It is particularly popular where traffic congestion is a major problem, such as in Bangkok and Nakhon Ratchasima. Drivers may also use their tuk-tuks to transport fresh produce or other goods around the city in absence of passengers. 
Bangkok and other cities in Thailand have many tuk-tuks which are a more open variation on the Indian auto rickshaw. About 20,000 tuk-tuks are registered as taxis in Thailand. Bangkok alone is reported to have 9,000 tuk-tuks. Europe France A number of tuk-tuks 250 in 2013 according to the Paris Prefecture are used as an alternative tourist transport system in Paris, some of them being pedal operated with electric motor assist. They are not yet fully licensed to operate and await customers on the streets. Velotaxis were common during the occupation years in Paris due to fuel restrictions. Italy Auto rickshaws have been commonly used in Italy since the late 1940s, providing a low-cost means of transportation in the post-World War II years when the country was short of economic resources. The Piaggio Ape Tugshi, designed by Vespa creator Corradino Descanio and first manufactured in 1948 by the Italian company Piaggio, though primarily designed for carrying freight has also been widely used as an auto rickshaw. It is still extremely popular throughout the country, being particularly useful in the narrow streets found in the center of many little towns in central and southern Italy. Though it no longer has a key role in transportation, Piaggio Ape is still used as a mini-taxi in some areas such as the islands of Ischia and Stromboli on Stromboli no cars are allowed. It has recently been relaunched as a trendy ecological means of transportation, or, relying on the role the Ape played in the history of Italian design, as a promotional tool. Since 2006 the ape has been produced under license in India. Topic United Kingdom Tuk Tuks and auto rickshaws were first introduced into the UK by Tuk Shop in 2004. Founded by MRST the first shipments of Bajaj vehicles arrived in Southampton where they were assembled and modified for UK road use. Tuk Shop runs the largest fleet of Tuk Tuks for sale or hire in the UK. Auto rickshaws were introduced to the city of Brighton and Hove on 10 July 2006 by entrepreneur Dominic Ponia's company Tukshik Limited. Ponya had the idea after seeing the vehicles used in India and Sri Lanka. They were CNG-powered, using a four-speed 175cc engine. Under the terms of their license, the Bahas ran on a fixed single route, and stopped only at designated stops. They are of the same design as traditional auto rickshaws in other countries. An investigation was launched into Tukshik Limited's operation of the service after complaints were raised, primarily by the city's taxi drivers, that routes, stopping points, and timetables were not being adhered to. In November 2006, the company was fined £16,500, the maximum penalty possible, by the South East Traffic Commissioner. After amendments were made to the timetable to reduce delays and improve reliability, the commissioner allowed the company to keep its operating license. However, the company announced in January 2008 that it was ceasing operations, citing archaic legislation as the reason. In 2014, Tuk Tuk Limited started to import vehicles made by Bajaj and produced in Mumbai. Tuk Tuk UK gains UK road approval for the vehicles and sells or rents them. On Wednesday, 25 June 2016, two Tuk Tuks appeared on the talent show, Britain's Got Talent. On 19 January 2016, the operator of a Tuk Tuk, Diva Tuk Tuk, gained approval to use the vehicle for private hire purposes from Chester Council. <laughs> Central America El Salvador The Moda Taxi or Moto is the El Salvadoran version of the auto rickshaw. These are most commonly made from the front end and engine of a motorcycle attached to a two-wheeled passenger area in back. Commercially produced models, such as the Indian Bajaj brand, are also employed. Guatemala. In Guatemala the commercial vehicles are referred to as tuk-tuks. Tuk-tuks operate, both as taxis and private vehicles, in Guatemala City, around the island town of Flores, Paten, in the mountain city of Antigua Guatemala, and in many small towns in the mountains. 
In 2005 the tuk-tuks prevalent in the Lago de Atitlan towns of Panahachal and Santiago Atitlan all appeared to be from India Bajaj Auto. <laughs> Honduras Three-wheeled all-in-one tuk-tuks are used in the place of traditional taxis in most rural towns and villages. Nicaragua As of 2011, there were an estimated 5,000 mototaxis, popularly known as capaneras. North America United States In the 1950s and 1960s, the United States Post Office replaced in 1971 by the United States Postal Service used the West Coaster Mailster, a close relative of the Tuk Tuk. Similar vehicles remain in limited use for parking enforcement, mall security, and other niche applications. South America Peru In Peru, a version of this vehicle is called a mototaxi. Fuel efficiency and pollution In July 1998, the Supreme Court of India ordered the government of Delhi to implement CNG or LPG autogas fuel for all autos and for the entire bus fleet in and around the city. Delhi's air quality has improved with the switch to CNG. Initially, auto rickshaw drivers in Delhi had to wait in long queues for CNG refueling, but the situation improved following an increase in the number of CNG stations. Gradually, many state governments passed similar laws, thus shifting to CNG or LPG vehicles in most large cities to improve air quality and reduce pollution. Certain local governments are pushing for four-stroke engines instead of two-stroke ones. Typical mileage for an Indian-made auto rickshaw is around 35 km per liter 99 mpg imp, 82 mpg US of petrol. Pakistan has passed a similar law prohibiting auto rickshaws in certain areas. CNG auto rickshaws have started to appear in huge numbers in many Pakistani cities. In January 2007, the Sri Lankan government also banned two stroke trishaws to reduce air pollution. In the Philippines, there are projects to convert carbureted two stroke engines to direct injected via Envirofit technology. Research has shown LPG or CNG gas direct injection can be retrofitted to existing engines, in similar fashion to the Envirofit system. In vegan city majority of tricycles for hire as of 2008 are powered by motorcycles with four-stroke engines, as tricycles with two-stroke motorcycles are prevented from receiving operating permits. Direct injection is standard equipment on new machines in India. In March 2009 an international consortium coordinated by the International Centre for Hydrogen Energy Technologies initiated a two-year public-private partnership of local and international stakeholders aiming at operating a fleet of 15 hydrogen-fueled three-wheeled vehicles in New Delhi's Pragati Maidan complex. As of January 2011, the project was nearing completion. Topic. In popular culture Auto rickshaws figure prominently in the 1983 James Bond film Octopussy. The open-world video game Just Cause 2 includes several tuk-tuks in the roster of vehicles available to the player. It is also available as a drivable vehicle in Far Cry 4. See also Jeepney Rickshaw Disambiguation Notes <laughs>